Hi Scorpios, this is the red thread bracelet that I recommend for you. If you connect with this reading, your reading is amazing, Scorpio. So once you watch it, if you align yourself with it, I highly recommend this one. This is specifically made for you only. It's a red thread bracelet. Now, if you're manifesting this amazing reading that you will just see, you wear it on the left, not on the right. Okay? Now, this is limited. We don't carry a lot of this because um, we make it just specifically for each of the zodiac. And this is your red thread bracelet. It is K2. It's K9. Um, and I hope that this helps you with what you're manifesting. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous reading. Stay tuned. Hi, Scorpios. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. How are you? We're not in Galactica anymore. We are in Frutella Nutella. How is everybody? In a different galaxy. <laughs> All right. We're not going to talk about it because I said so. Mm -hmm. Basically, there has been some changes. <laughs> That's it, you know. I did get my ear pierced, but that's been like, I don't know, five years ago. So <laughs> if that's what you're noticing. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> it's the glow. It's hyaluronic. Okay. <laughs> hyaluronic stress. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's begin with the Scorpios. Give us something good, Sal. Give us something good. Reading for the Scorpio is like, uh, well, I can't use that word. Okay. So let's just say... Mm, if it's a casino, it's the where you you toss the dice, something like that. Okay, that's how your readings is always. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Ooh, <laughs> all right. Someone wants to text you a message, you Scorpio. The first spread I use is just for you first. Okay, I'm doing something new as always. <laughs> Man, where are the cards? Why is it not popping? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay, give it. Give it to me. Okay. Give it to me. <laughs> I guess it's sticky. <laughs> oh, I know. You gotta wait, Scorpio. You gotta wait. Hmm, maybe that's that's the theme for you. You gotta wait. There we go. Okay. Woo! <laughs> I'm sorry. I gotta laugh. King of Swords with the lovers. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> you gotta wait, but the wait is over. Okay. Three of Wands. The Ace of Wands. The missing piece, the missing puzzle in your life is here. Now, you first. I'm not gonna divide the energy. So, just you. Oh, I like that. Just you, not just us. Okay. <laughs> Mandy Moore, yes, please, right? Mm -hmm. um, King of Swords with the lovers. Um, what is this about? My mind is clear now in the direction of love. There is a Gemini, there is an Aquarius, there is a fire sign. Mm. Uh, I feel like right now on your end, you're in love. Let's keep it that way. I feel like on your end, you have an option. <laughs> The lovers is a choice. Now, you could be dealing with two people right now, Scorpio. King of Swords with the lovers. It's like, who do I pick? Now, you, I feel like, are developing something here. So, it is slowly coming into your life. Um, there's a presence in your life that you feel good about it. With Venus in your fourth house, or I feel like it is in the fourth house already, in Aquarius, right? Um... There's a level of comfort, finding um, your peace and happiness in life. This is a good energy for you. Venus is best friends with Saturn. So this is a good time for you to buy a car and buy a home. <laughs> or connect with your mom. You pick. I'll buy a car, Sal. <laughs> Why you don't want to talk to your mom? <laughs> uh, this is to nurture oneself also. Mm -hmm. um, and get a good sleep, relaxation. This is the time for that. King of Swords with the lovers, you feel at ease, you feel at peace. Ah, tremendous, wonderful energy. Three of Wands with the Ace of Wands, uprooting yourself, a big move in the next two to three months. You will start all over again in a new place. Three to Ace, Roots, not this Roots, okay? <laughs> but the Ace of Wands is like, I'm moving and changing the direction of my life, whether you're moving or not. It's a big shift. You're optimistic. Mm -hmm. You feel this wonderful energy that 
has been okay on delay for the longest time. That's how you felt, but it's here now. Okay, very positive. You're optimistic in life right now. You're creative. You're driven. You're motivated. Everything that you were not, you are. <laughs> All right, love it, Sal. All right, now let's split this into your person and you. Okay, you could be connecting with someone from a distance. Three of Wands over here. Um, they're far from you. Expect a message. Ace of Wands, very passionate. Um, this is about a person who's driven and motivated um, to take action in the connection. The Wands is a fiery nature, so it is the Big Bang. The Ace of Wands, oh, I haven't used that. Yeah, because Ace of Wands is the Big Bang. Like It's like, boom, like, love. Okay. Now, with the lovers, I feel like you are going to hit it off with this person right off the bat. Like, you're just like, ooh, I'm in love also. Mm-hmm. Now, someone here with the three and ace of wands can be waiting for you guys to move in together. Um, this Because the, the, that's a three goes to the ace of wands. Someone is going to be waiting for you to officially commit to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. King of Cups coming out over here. Strong. So you could be connecting with the same genitalia, whatever you prefer. Hangman over here. The Empress. My, my, my. Sharona. Seven of Cups. All right. Mm-hmm. It's funny. My mom just messaged right now and it's so early. <laughs> I said I just buy the car instead of talking. <laughs> uh, your mom took a message from your mom. Empress is here. That's mom also. King of Cups over here and the hangman. Um, I feel like your life is about to be upside down. Mm -hmm. Like a good pineapple cake. Um, because you would not know what to do. Mm-hmm. To compromise your own happiness or to, like, you got to choose love here, Scorpio. This is what it is. And it may be difficult for you to say, it's like, oh, so I'm just going to choose love over everything that I've worked hard for. Yeah, that's how it is when you're in love. <laughs> that's how it is when you're in love, not when you're obsessed. Ooh, drop smack. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's when you're in love, not obsessed. You drop things and you go with love. The other thing that you do is like, oh, I'm obsessed. I drop everything. Exacto mundo. Tumpak. Mm. Empress over here. Oh, man, how good looking is this person? Venus right here. Right? Mm -hmm. With the seven of cups. Um, I feel like this person do have a lot of opportunities uh, in life. Um, they do celebrate a good life. Hi. Okay. That's good. Ace of Wands with the Seven of Cups. Um, I feel like they're slowly figuring things out also um, where they stand in their own life. Mm. The only thing I know is this person is madly in love with you. Do they take action? I feel like they're not. It can be a Taurus. It can be a Libra also. There's a Pisces over here. They're not going to make an effort right now or move, but they, they will do with the Ace of Wands. But I feel like they will initiate and then they will let you um, take the wheel. Mm -hmm. Someone here you adore, the Empress. You always adore this person. You probably give this person a lot of gifts. Okay, with the Seven of Cups. Let me see here. Nine of Swords. Leave it to the Scorpio to overthink this. Five of Cups. The Star card. And the Four of Swords. Okay. So, what is it with you, Scorpio? <laughs> like, oh no! Oh no! Nine of Swords with the Five of Cups. Like, why are you stressed? Okay. Why are you overthinking this? Why are we jumping into conclusion? Because they're all the same, Sal. Oh, so you're going to tell me I'm in love again? Just like two, three years ago when I was in love? I know what happened, Sal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There. Five of Cups. You got, you know, you got stress. You got depressed over here. I told you, there is this uh, person who's... Always thinking about you with the Four of Swords and then the Star card over here. It only feels like this person has been waiting for this, wishing for this, manifesting this. Seven of Cups with the Four of Swords. Um, they've analyzed and thought about their life and they see that it's you. Mm. It's you. But why are you not entertaining this person? Okay, let me see. Okay. Let's see Scorpio it's right here. You got a seven of swords coming on your side, Scorpio. What's going on? High Priestess, you have secrets for days, for mileage. Person is three of cups, the justice. 
for others who is who is about their ex their ex here is here with the three of cups divine timing at work this is a reunion it's not really a reconciliation but if it's a reunion then there is a reconciliation because people are meeting together to celebrate you may meet this person in a celebration. They come to you and then you bump into each other. Kesera, sera, whatever it will be, will be. High Priestess with the Seven of Swords, the Scorpio is avoiding any kind of interaction for whatever it is. There's, there's this energy here where you have someone here with the lovers that you're keeping hidden. Mm -hmm. That you're not talking about. Mm -hmm. That you're just gonna keep it for your to yourself first with the with the lovers card, King of Cups with the Hangman. How long are you gonna keep it like tight? I think you know this is what I'm seeing here, because Seven of Swords with the Nine of Swords, you refuse, you avoid to talk about this. So who is that? There's someone that you are liking, but you refuse to talk about it, and then you have people who wants to be with you also. Hmm. So we got options and choices. This is justice with the Three of Cups. This is someone who's X. Four of Swords with a Star card. That's someone's current. Empress with a Seven of Cups. Another choice. Mm -hmm. Okay. So three, four choices. Okay. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Talk about a dating life. All right. All right. I got you. I got you. Mm. I want to know your secret. I'm nosy. And your crosswatcher is nosy. I'll out you in the extended. How about that, Scorpio? <laughs> so, no, no. Too late. <laughs> the next 30 days, all your secrets will be revealed. No, herself. My choice. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to get eight cards in the next 30 days. What have you been keeping? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and we would need to verify if you're a Scorpio for the extended. You can't watch it if you're not a Scorpio. I'm kidding. <laughs> Verification. <laughs> Time and place of birth first. Because we're going to out the Scorpio over here. Now, I'm going to see this star card. There's someone who feels so connected with you. Four of Swords. So connected. Like, you are an answered prayer. This person feels like you are a miracle to their life. Mm -hmm. Or they're a miracle to your life also. Call me Miracle Mile, so oh. <laughs> here we go. And let's see the Empress in the next seven days. Venus is going to be... Oh, is it? Once after Aqua, it's going to go to Pisces. You're going to fall in love like crazy, Scorpio. Man, you will have choices for days. Mm -hmm. mm. Ladies choice. Okay. Yeah, you will have. Because Venus goes into your fifth house. Then it's dating, finding love. Right now, you're just finding comfort, but you're in love. I mean, Jupiter is already giving you that energy, even though it's still in Aquarius, but it's about to. You're going to be in a very tough spot of like, from not having anyone to, oh my God, why are all these people wanting to be with me now? And why are you secretive, Scorpio? <laughs> Let's see with the Seven of Swords. Something you are definitely lying about. There's something you're just like, well, I just... I just won't tell the truth, but I want to know the truth for you. Okay. It helps you. Okay. Now, who is this person, the lovers, that you feel strongly? Okay. I'm going to get seven cards there. Three, four, six, seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. Seven cards right there. Um, What is causing you to overthink? What is this overthinking? Sometimes you do this to yourself. I'm going to get you out of that nine of swords. Oh, you're stressed because you have so much people right now that wants you. Mm-hmm. Okay, justice card. Is it gonna work out if you give the pass a chance? Okay, justice card. There's marriage also there. Okay. Mm hmm. Let me see what else. Okay, what else? What else? Oh, the three of cups right here. Okay. That's a good news of celebration. So you will receive something good. Okay, I don't know from who yet because you do have choices and option here. Um, Gemini had choices past months. Sag also has choices past months. Now it's your turn. Mm -hmm. It's your turn to have all these choices. For others, who is not, uh, who's who's gonna say it's like, but I don't have a choice. I don't have anyone right now. Well, I, remember, I do follow Sidereal. 
I'm just saying. Okay? Because that's where I read the chart together with the tarot. Okay? Um, but if it connects with you, of course, it connects with you. Right? It doesn't matter. Um, Western or sidereal. Mm -hmm. uh, but the way I see this uh, for you is that you have this chance to find true love. The question is, will you make the right choice? That's tough. That's very, very tough. With your with the nodes, it's at zero degrees now. Um, this week, um, Rahu is in zero degrees. This is when, the for me, the planets would leave a gift. Mm. Okay, look at my face. <laughs> I'm going to go back to Galactica Andromeda and sink myself in a hole. <laughs> so, but we'll see. Okay, because as a Scorpio myself, this is an atonement. That the planets do play around. <laughs> and sometimes their joke is not funny. <laughs> All right. So Scorpio, let's find out in the grand reveal. As more people try to connect with you, who will you pick? I'll see you guys again. Bye.